You might have the best website, the most valuable content, or even the most beautiful design out there. But if people can't find you on Google, it's like shouting into an empty room. SEO or search engine optimization is crucial if you want your websites to rank higher on search engines like Google, drive traffic to your website and in turn make money. But a lot of people think doing SEO takes a lot of time, it's highly complex and you will have to spend thousands of dollars to see any meaningful results. Well, that's not really the case. This is where Yoast SEO comes into play and it is one of the most downloaded plugin for WordPress and Shopify used by millions of websites worldwide. Yoast makes SEO simple guiding you step by step with real time suggestions to improve your content, optimize your keyword, fix readability and even take care of technical SEO behind the scenes. And in this video, I'll show you all about Yoast SEO and how to set up and start using Yoast SEO to improve the SEO performance of your website and start ranking higher than your competitor. So if you want your website to rank higher, attract more visitors and grow your online presence without having to do all these complicated SEO strategies and techniques, well, stick around till the end and I'll show you how you can completely SEO optimize your website using Yoast SEO. So let's quickly get started. So this right here is the official website of Yoast SEO and this is the SEO plugin for WordPress that I've been talking about. And now if you want to SEO optimize your website in just a single click and optimize your content such that it ranks higher in Google, all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to yoast.com and you can too go ahead and sign up for a new account and start using their plugin. And the thing is that Yoast SEO has to be the one of the most downloaded plugin on the WordPress repo. And as you can see, here I have opened up the Yoast SEO plugins page on WordPress. And as you can see, they have more than 10 million plus active installation. And as you can see, it says Yoast SEO is powering well over 13 million plus websites. So you could already tell how popular this particular plugin is. And the thing is that Yoast SEO have both a free version and also a paid version. And if you want to use the free version, you can just head over to the plugin repo and search for Yoast SEO and install it. But if you want the advanced AI related real time guidance and you know suggestions and you if you want those advanced features, you will have to use the premium version and the premium version of Yoast SEO only cost you $118 per year. And again, as part of their 15 years launch anniversary, if you use the coupon that is Astro 15, you will get extra 15% discount on top of this price as well. So this is the right opportunity to grab Yoast SEO to make your website fully SEO optimized. And again, if you prefer to use the free version with limited features, you can of course install Yoast SEO from the WordPress repo as well. So first thing first, head over to Yoast.com and you can sign up for a new account and purchase Yoast SEO premium if you want all these features like AI powered SEO suggestions, smarter workflow flows, then real-time content analysis, seamless technical SEO. And if you want to get access to all that, you can use the premium version. But if you want to, you can also still use the free version and later upgrade as well. And also make sure to use the coupon that is Astro 15 to get extra 15% discount. And now in this case, I have already installed Yoast SEO on my WordPress website. And now I'll show you how you can configure and start using Yoast SEO to make your website fully SEO optimized. So if you have purchased Yoast SEO premium, if you log into your Yoast account and if you go to download section, you'll be able to download the premium plugin, right? Yoast SEO premium. And then you can head back to your WordPress website and click on this option that says plugin, click on add plugin. And after that, click on this option that says upload plugin. And you can just download the zip file from here, just like this, click on the download button. So you have the zip file and after that you can simply drag and drop the plugin in here and click on the install now button and install Yoast. Okay. So that is how simple it is. And now if you want to install the free version, you can simply search for Yoast in this uh, section right here and download and install the same as well. And now in this case, I have already added Yoast SEO to this particular website. So as you can see here, we have Yoast SEO and I'll open the same. And right now I'm in the Yoast SEO dashboard and it says welcome to your dashboard and check your contents, SEO performance, readability and overall strength and opportunities. And now as you can see here we have SEO score and readability score and for all the posts within my website as you can see 14 of them have good SEO score, 4 of them is okay and okay and pretty much all of them are in the good or okay state and in terms of readability score. As you can see, eight of them are good, eight of them are okay, and seven needs improvement. And readability is very important because it not only helps your visitors to easily read your content, but also makes it easy for you to rank higher on Google. 
because you provide better user experience right and again if you move over to this first time configuration option right here so right after you install Yoast SEO on your website you can head over to this first time configuration option and you can click on this continue button right here and you'll be asked to configure a couple of options in here to make your website SEO optimized and it says follow these five steps to make Google understand what your site is about so first of all we have an option that says site representation and does your site represent an organization or a person so in this case it represents a person so in your case if it is an organization you can enter that in here so here i have entered the website name the name of the person and again it also gives us the option to upload a logo or an avatar so in this case let me update my website logo so i can simply drag and drop the same in here so this right here is my website logo and i'll select the same and now i can click on save and continue and next up you have the option to enter the social profile links for all your you know social media handles which you can add or update in the profile so I'll, I'll do that later i can click on save and continue and okay save and continue and you can finish this configuration in here and now your seo will automatically take care of optimizing your website in the first step itself and now if i head over to the settings you'll be able to configure each and every aspect of optimizing a website for seo so here we have a couple of options actually a lot of options and currently we are in the general tab in the site feature section we can find all the seo features that you want to include or let's say enable or disable within your website for example here we have seo analysis readability analysis inclusive language analysis yoast ai then we have insights then we have cornerstone content text link counter internal linking suggestions which is actually an interesting tool then we have open graph data x card data slack sharing admin bar menu then we have rest api endpoints xml sitemaps index now llms.txt we have all these options so basically depending on your use case you can disable or enable features from this page and again yoast seo even gives you the option to enable llms.txt file as well for the time being i'll enable the same and again i'll show you how we can configure that later in this video i know yet another cool thing about using yoast seo is that it will automatically take care of configuring a uh, xml sitemap so pretty much all the website should have an XML sitemap, right? So XML sitemap makes it easy for search engine crawlers like Google to find and discover new content on your website and also helps you in ranking your content higher in Google. So since I have this XML sitemap feature enabled in Yoast, if I click on this button that says view the XML sitemap button. So this right here is a sitemap generated by Yoast SEO. So I just installed the Yoast SEO plugin and here I already have an XML sitemap and if I click on this post sitemap option here I can find all the list of posts that I have within my blog and now I can simply submit this particular URL in the search console and I can add my XML sitemap in a similar fashion they have also introduced llms.txt file as well and again if you enable this tool right here that says index now which is actually a premium feature by the way so if you enable index now Yoast SEO will automatically ping search engines like Bing and Yandex whenever you publish, update or delete a post. So whenever you make a change to the articles or content within your website and if you want the changes to reflect fast in those search engines, you can enable that option. And as you can see, SEO analysis, readability analysis, Yoast SEO and insights are already enabled and I'll show you that in detail later. And again, if you go through each and every all these sections, right, for example, site basic, site representation, site connection, you'll be able to customize how your website should show on search engines like Google. For example, you can configure your website name, alternate website name, tagline. You can add your site image in here. For example, this one right here. Then you can add the site preferences, site policies. You can link all these pages and maybe I can go to representation. OK, so we already configured that. And again, you can add your Baidu, Bing, Google, Pinterest and Yandex verification codes in here. So if you want to verify your website on these platforms, they will give you a code. So you can simply paste that in here and click on the save changes option and your website will be verified. And next up, if you go to the content types and if you go to homepage, galleries, portfolios, post, you will be able to determine how your post should look in search engines and on social medias for example every time you search for a keyword your website has to appear in google search results right you can actually see and customize how your website looks on the search engine results page or serp by configuring it in here so for example how the seo title should look like what is the structure of the meta description and for social media what should be the documented image the social media title description the schema you can configure all of that in here and again you can configure the same for categories page as well 
and now if I move to the advanced page here I'll be able to configure the LLMs.txt file and now LLMs.txt is a tool used by let's say AI tools like ChatGPT, Gemini or Claude so basically it will give directions as to how to use the content within your website what content to use what content to restrict and you can configure all that in LLMs.txt and in the advanced settings you have even more options like crawl optimization date archives other archives format archives special pages configuring RSS and you can complete all that in here and now the even cooler part is that if you head over to the integrations tab right here you'll be able to integrate Yoast SEO with other tools and services including SEM Rush and Vincher. So you can actually get real-time keyword data from SEM Rush and use it while you write an article on your website. For example, if I go to the post page on my website, I know just to show you how powerful Yoast SEO and all the features it has to offer, I'll quickly open a blog post within my website. And as you can see, this writer is a blog post that I wrote and the title is how to start a blog that generates more than $5,000 a month in 2025 A2Z guide. And as you can see, this writer is the blog post and to a great extent it is already optimized because I already used Yoast SEO but if I scroll all the way down as you can see here we have a section that is Yoast SEO premium and this is my personal favorite feature of all of Yoast SEO. So this is the place where I can completely make sure that the article that I wrote is completely SEO optimized and also it has high probability that it will rank higher on Google. For example, first of all, it will ask you to enter a focus keyword. So for this particular article that is how to start a blog, of course, my focus keyword is the keyword that is how to start a blog and I have entered the same in here. And again, if you have connected SEM Rush, if you click on this button right here, you will be able to get related key phrases or keywords as well. And now this is going to be how my article will appear in a Google search result. So every time someone searches for a keyword and if they find my website on Google search result, this is how it is going to appear. And as you can see, I need to work on my title because some part of my title is getting truncated. So I'll have to fix that. And here we have the date, here we have the meta description, then the featured image, the blog title, and also the URL. And now the thing is that you can configure the SEO titles like meta description and all that in here. And now this writer is the title that I have for now, right? And again, the integrated AI features right within Yoast SEO helps you to generate SEO titles using AI. For example, this writer is my title. And if I click on this button that says generate SEO title, it will now open up a pop-up showing me a couple of AI generated title ideas. For example, here we have how to start a blog and make money today. How to start a blog that changes your life step by step okay so this one actually looks good that is how to start a blog and make money today simple and classy so i can add the same and now again if you want to generate a meta description you can actually click on this button right here and now meta description is actually the description that appears underneath the title every time you search for something on google for each and every search results there will be a meta description and if you click on this button that says generate meta description Okay, there you go. Here we have a couple of suggestions. So learn how to start a blog today and transform your passion into profit with valuable insights from a full-time blogger. Wow, that's actually really great. Okay, so it seems like the first one is actually better. So I'll apply that as well. And there you go. I just clicked two buttons and I already have an SEO optimized title and description. And now yet another cool thing is that if you want to, you can add related keywords and phrases in the premium version of Yoast. And here we, the how to start a blog is our actual keyword. So I have added the same. And again, in the analysis result section, you'll be able to find the current state of SEO optimization for this particular blog post. For example, in the good results section, as you can see, we have added a good number of outbound links, both internal links and external links. So we have internal links, we have added images, the keyword phrase is added in the introduction, keyword density is good. So the keyword was found 17 times, then the key phrase is in the SEO title, then the key phrase length is good, then meta description is good, single title, competing links. There are no links which use your key phrase or synonyms as their anchor text. Well, so the text length is like, okay, the article is 2400 words long, title SEO. So as you can see, the Yoast SEO plugin is doing a real-time analysis of the content and every time we make a change to the content, the same will be reflected in here. And next up in the problem section, as I can see, here we have key phrase distribution very uneven. Large part of your text do not contain the key phrase or synonyms, so distribute them more evenly. And then we also have this problem word key phrase in the subheading. So we want to use more key phrases or synonyms in the H2 and H3 subheadings. 
So Yoast SEO is analyzing our content and is giving us all the problems that we have, all the improvements that we can make and what are the things that we are currently doing good. So I can follow all these, you know, uh, things that is mentioned in here and I can make changes to the content such that it improves the probability for this content ranking higher in Google. And if I scroll down here, I have a couple more options like track SEO performance. So if I connect with Pincher, I can track the SEO performance. Then I have internal linking suggestions. So these are all the pages to which I need to link from my current article. And again, as you can see, Yoast has suggested around five of them and three of them is already done. And I can also link to these particular pages because they are closely related to the content of the current article. Next step, if you want to, you can mark it as a cornerstone content. If I click on this advanced button right here, I'll be given the option to choose whether or not my article should appear in Google in the first place. So not all articles should appear in Google, right? So if you don't want your article or let's say blog post or whatever content to appear in Google, you can select that in here. And again, canonical URL, breadcrumb title, meta robots advanced. You can configure all that in here. And if I open the insights page, I'll be able to find all the prominent words that appear within my article. So flash reading score is 75.8, reading time is 15 minutes and the total word count is around 2400. So that is how you can optimize your article or let's say a blog content using Yoast SEO. So that is for SEO part. And now if I move over to the readability part, this is where we have a lot of problem it seems. So consecutive sentences. So the text contains two instances where three or more consecutive sentences start with the same word. So we need to try to mix that up. Then we have issues with subheading distribution and transition words only 28.9 of the sentences contain transition word which is not enough and again as for the good results passive voice paragraph length sentence length and all that looks good so basically i can make changes to the content based on the analysis result here and now yoast will recalculate and give me all the suggestions in here and again if i move over to the schema tab i'll be able to select the schema for this particular blog post so in this case this is actually a web page so this is the right one but if you want to you can actually uh, select schema for various different types like article, blog post, social media posting, news article, tech article. And finally, if I click on the social button right here, I'll be able to see a preview of as to how my article will appear if a person try to share my article. So as you can see here, we have the featured image, the title, and this is how my uh, article will look like if someone tried to share this particular post on social media and again the even cooler thing is that if you want to you can specify a different social title social description and social image okay so you don't necessarily have to use the seo title and meta description if you want to you can change that and you have options for that and again you can also use ai for generating title and description as well okay so that's how simple it is so after i configure all of that i can save the changes and everything will be made live and now as soon as i save my article the article will be updated in the post sitemap.xml file with the updated date. So there you go. So this right here is the article that we updated just now. That is how to start a blog. And as you can see, the current date is reflected in here. And now it will instantly ping uh, Bing and Yandex for the update. And also the updated date will appear in Google as well. So this is how simple it is to SEO optimize your blog post or content within your blog using Yoast SEO. So basically every time you're about to write an article or edit an article within your website, you will find that Yoast SEO suggestion section where you can configure your keyword, the meta description title, the how your uh, article will appear on Google. You can configure images, title and description for social media. You can add the schema. You can uh, get access to the readability scores and improve it and you can do all that and again you can also do site level changes by heading over to here and make sure your website is indeed seo optimized and if you want to get access to all these all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to yours.com and you can sign up for a new account and get Yoast seo premium and again as part of the 15th anniversary they're also giving 15 percent discount to anyone who is purchasing Yoast seo premium so you all you have to do is to just use the coupon astro15 and you can get 15 percent instant discount i know that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video so Yoast seo is one of the most installed plugin on the wordpress repo and it is also installed and used by over 13 million websites worldwide so you could already tell how popular that is and again if you want to use the free version you have options for that too you can straight up head over to wordpress repo that is the plugin repo and install the same and you can seo optimize your website so if you want your website to rank higher in search engines like google get more traffic and in turn make money SEO optimization is very crucial and important and your SEO is one of the best plugins that you can use for the same. I know that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.